Artists need inspiration, and where they generally get inspiration is from other artists. This is why it's so important when we hear that one painter teaches another painter, because the influence is not just the technical part of making a painting or a, a, an artwork, but it's also the temperament, the thinking, the way an artist emotions work. This painting is Edgar Taylor, Main Street, Southampton, 1894. This is what Main Street, South, Southampton looked like. That's a Pelotosh silver shot, and, and this is that famous uh, bomb historic. This is Tag Harbor, Long Beach, 1895. Oh, well, by Air William Sylvester Neaton. This painting is by Frederick Cousins, who was a very well-known watercolorist to the illustrators, Montauk Point. This is the way they used to catch fish, hand lining bluefish, 1890. This is a Mary de Loran, the largest folio she ever made, Georgica Oaks, 1887. This one here is Georgica Pond, 1910. This is a Thomas Loran, all of uh, fishy walk of the Free Wall Harbor. Uh, which was done at her the 1880s, and this is an outfit Thomas Britcher, who was one of the most former, most uh, marine artists of his day, 1880. Britcher lived in Southampton, this is a scallop boat, which is the main industry of Long Island in the 1800s. A painting is an item that nobody really needs it. People have to buy it, it has to, they have to be moved by it. They have to talk, it has to talk to them. And so, I would say that any living artist, any young artist, you know, just like a writer, you can't, you know, you have to take chances and follow your heart. If you don't do that, then what's going to happen is that you stay within the, you know, you have, sometimes you have to go outside the box, okay? It might not always be successful for you, but you have to take a chance.